welcome back welcome to my craft room um, so today I thought that I would try something a little bit different so I don't know if any of you guys um, have done decoupage before I remember this from being a kid in art class so what I thought I'd do today is do um, some decoupage on a cup. I haven't done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Now, so this is what I have. So basically with decoupage, what we're gonna do is we are gonna transfer pictures on to, you can use clear packing tape, you can use um, transfer tape, um, anything clear like that will work hopefully so what I did so your pictures need to be on a like laser printer um, when I was a kid we used to do this with um, clipped out magazine um, pieces in um, school so anyways basically what I did was I just printed some images that I wanted to use on paper. Um, laser printer, just regular paper, okay? Now the images I have, I've already cut them out because I know that you guys don't need to watch me do that. So these are just some images. These are actually images of my dad. So um, my dad died about 10 years ago of um, he had lung cancer, and um, cancer is a terrible thing. Um, you know, unfortunately, he did smoke. He came from a time when, um, you know, before they really knew the pitfalls of it, and he didn't quit in time. You know, he did eventually quit, but, you know, not, not in time to get cancer. So, don't start smoking, and cancer is a horrible thing. So anyways, we're coming up on um, the anniversary of my dad dying here soon. And I thought that I would make my brother a cup with pictures of him on it. So we're going to see how it turns out. Anyways, um, so I have my cup here. I just painted it like a light blue color. And I actually painted it with chalk paint. because I just really like how chalk paint looks and you know it dries pretty quickly so I think that's a really pretty color and I think that it will look nice for his cup so cut the tag on the bottom of it too all right so what we're gonna do is Put on my glasses because again, presbyopia, I can't see. It's what happens when you have almost 50 birthdays, I guess. All right, so we're gonna take our tape. It's kind of a big piece. And here, let me put this down okay so here's my picture so we're gonna take and put our tape over top of the picture now I'm actually going to cut this off and kind of go on the end here because tape didn't completely fit over it and you want your picture to be under tape all right so there is that we do these other ones and then what we're gonna do is this is just a bowl of water and picture side down we're just gonna put it in the water, okay? 
So I'm gonna speed up, tape all of these, put them in the water, and then I'm gonna let them soak for a bit. So once the back starts coming off of them, then I'll go back to regular, okay? Okay, so now we're down to the last one. So I'm sorry, my phone rang while I was taping, um, putting tape on the pictures, so that's why you only saw me put tape on a couple, but basically all I did was put um, the tape on all of them, put them in and let them soak. So I will tell you, this has only been maybe 10 minutes since I started. So like these papers did not have to um, lay in here for very long. So what I want you to see is, this is what it looks like. So don't take your fingernail and scratch it because you'll scratch the picture. All you do is just take your hand and softly, if you can see, just rub the paper backing off. And that's all I'm doing in the water is just rubbing the paper backing off. My water looks a little get, bit gross. It kind of looks like if you put toilet paper in the water. So once it soaks, it actually comes off pretty easily. I think my brother's gonna really like this cup. So I'm sure I'll end up making one for my mom, of course, and then um, my other brother. But this particular brother, um, he moved to Minnesota, so we don't get to see him very often. So him and his wife are coming down to go to um, Disney because I live near Disney World. So um, he's kind of a last minute kind of guy, always has been. He, he doesn't really plan anything. He lets you know last minute. So I found out um, well, the hurry, we were planning, we were off and prepping for the hurricane, so I want to say maybe it was like Friday or so that I found out that he was coming. So, too much, you do too much of these in the same water, and, um, it's hard to rinse your thing off because there's so much paper. All right. So as you can see, there's the picture. Um, all right, let me just put knocking it over. All right, so, oh, I guess that's probably not super smart to do. Um, okay, so a couple things. I did, so some of the pictures that needed um, more than a piece of tape. Um, I did one overlapping to see how that would be and it's absolutely fine. And then I did one because I didn't know how that would work. So in case it didn't work well, I did one also um, with and two pieces. So I put the tape just really close together and it worked out well too. You just have to piece it. So with that, I would say whatever your preference is. And I'm just kind of making sure that the backs of them are clean and I'm drying off the fronts of them, not the sticky backs. So what I'm thinking that I'll do is, like I said, I haven't done this before, so I'm gonna just trim off the excess because I don't know how that will look under my cup, under my resin.
All right, so I have my cup, and what I think I'm going to do is I have this Eileen's Tacky Glue mixed up already, um, and basically it is Eileen's Glue mixed with a little water. And it dries clear, so I'm going to give it a try. And I'm just going to arrange these pictures on here. I want to leave room, so I'm going to put my brother's name. I think I'll put my brother's name, like, above here. And it's it's funny. My brother's a junior, so him and my dad actually have the same name. I want to... I don't know how I feel about the need to seal it. So, I'm gonna do I think is maybe just put the glue up over it and let it dry because it does dry clear and pray that this isn't a mistake we'll see I'll let you guys know Right, guys I'm back with our decoupage cup so I am super happy with this so this is how it looks so this is you know all the pictures on there so these are all just pictures of my dad and um, so putting the glue over top to seal it actually made the pictures um, more vibrant so that makes me happy so i'm excited to see how it looks um under the epoxy um yeah so that's like a really fun especially for like a memory cup you know it's just like a little collage okay so give me a minute i'm going to mix the epoxy and then we'll put it on and see how it looks this might be a keeper this is kind of a weird angle because I want you guys to be able to see how this comes out also. So, let's see. I hope this comes out nice. So now this one, remember, I was trying a couple things. So I did, and I'm sorry for the muffled voice, of course, my um, I have my mask on. So this one, I did chalk paint. Um, I love chalk paint, but this is my first time doing it on a cup. So we'll see how that looks. And then of course the decoupage. You know, this, um, this cup's very important to me because of it being my dad. I really like this spinner better because I like the idea of being able to whoops, I'm making a mess, sorry, because I can't see very well. Let's go. I got it set up. I like the idea of being able to change the direction of your cup because you know, whether you're right handed, left handed, I mean, not only am I right handed, like I am very right-handed. When I put a catheter in, I have to be on, like, the specific side. It's terrible. Oh, my gosh. This is so awesome. I hope you guys can see that. 
So I'll tell you, the top paint is beautiful under there. I did just like a, a light blue top paint, and that actually looks nice. You know, I just wanted this like kind of light old feel to it because it's, you know, the pictures are old. But look how nice the pictures came out. I am so happy. Oh, I tell you, I miss my dad so much. I really miss him a lot. I, um, you know, I'm getting ready to have my first grandchild. You know, and it's so sad because, you know, I, I know how happy my dad would have been. One of my, um, one of my dear friends got her mom's biopsy back today. And, um, found out that her mom has ovarian cancer and unfortunately it is the most aggressive form of it you know the thing that's hard with those types of cancers is that you're not necessarily symptomatic you know um so a lot of times when people are diagnosed they're already you know um, especially when it's the aggressive one, which is unfortunately what she has. So, she needs lots of prayers. I, I feel so bad. I, I just don't even... Terrible. So, lots of prayers for her. Alright. Now, listen, I love baby wipes. Baby <laughs> wipes are... Thank God for baby wipes. Oh, you guys, I am so happy with this cup. You guys, my brother is going to die. He is going to love this. I can't really see. I can't tell how well the picture is showing for you. But I tell you what, this is a keeper. Oh my gosh, it turned out so good. Oh, so good. Alright guys, well listen, that was a really really good one that is a keeper i will do that again i think i'll probably make those for um for the rest of my family i love it that was a good memory cup all right well hey thank you for um spending this time with me and visiting my craft room and um i hope you learned something new doing it with me for the first time all right, listen, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye. We had talked about, so this is the cup. There was a couple things with it. So first of all, you know, remember I did this with the um, chalk paint and I love chalk paint. Chalk paint for me is amazing and it dries quick and I just love the finish to it. I do, I've done a lot of like upcycles with chalk paint, but I'm going to tell you, I really like the chalk paint on here. I think that that's so nice. And then, and then on the other side of that was the decoupage so 
you know, I think putting that um, glue, and I'm sure that uh, Mod Podge would be the same over top of it, not only did it not ruin the pictures, but it actually brought the color back out. So, and then put on the epoxy, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I know that um, seeing this, there, you know, there may be um, some people that think it's sort of weird that, you know, my dad died of lung cancer, and I know I have a picture on here of, you know, that has him smoking. However, um, you know, it is what it is. He was brought up in a different time, you know. He's an old um, Vietnam guy, and it's who he was. So, you know, for, for what this cup is for, you know, my brother, it's how we knew him, you know. I, I know it's also how he died, but it is how we knew him. So, um, you know, I'm not going to take away from who he was. So, anyways, this is just, it, it came out so nice. Now, this is only one thing of epoxy, and honestly, I'm not going to put another one, and I didn't even use a lot. I think I only used like 15 cc's on this. I didn't want to use a lot because of the pictures, I, I just wasn't sure and it really turned out great. So I was thinking, you know, like this is a memory cup, you know, for us, I think it's great as a memory cup. You know, if you are a new mom and you want to, um, you know, you wanna give like a grandparents a present, you know, the other thing that I was thinking was, um, you know, when my daughter, um, found out she was pregnant with her first baby, um, it, you know, my first grandchild and my daughter's my only child. So, um, you know, she really made a big deal about the, um, the pregnancy announcement to me. And it, you know, it turned out that, you know, she was able to do it on Mother's Day and it was super nice. But I was thinking even like if you wanted to do a pregnancy announcement to your, um, to your mom or your parents or whatever, that would be kind of nice to put a picture of the ultrasound here and then like maybe a saying like, you know, only the best parents become grandparents or, you know, something like that. I was thinking, oh, that would be super nice or I mean like you could do like your dog you could do something for your kids um, I was even thinking like you know as you know for like teachers end of school you know thing if you like you know took pictures through the year of like you know the things that the teacher had done with the kids and then something like this as a um, end of school year present, that would be super nice also. So the other thing I did wanna tell you guys, I got these tumblers at Michael's. I don't know if every Michael's has them because I go, I have um, two Michael's kind of close to me. Um, just in different directions and one of them has them and one of them doesn't however so i got these um in my michaels they're next to the spinet which we all know how i feel about the spinet so i won't say that again um, but they were 5.99 and then i used my 40 percent off so they were only like three and some change and it's a really nice double walled steel tumbler. So just to kind of let you guys know. All right. Well, I hope that you um, enjoyed this as much as I did. This is my favorite. Thank you. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day.